Rescue efforts continue in St. Louis, Missouri today after record rainfall ravaged that community. And as Mike Valerio shows us, it comes as residents in the Pacific Northwest brace for extreme temperatures. As historic flooding spread across the St. Louis area, a child rescued by raft, flood water surrounding cars throughout the neighborhood. Zooming in, a dog and child hanging on to two people wading through the water. The torrential and record-breaking rainfall led to St. Louis's wettest day ever recorded. It was very scary, overwhelming, too much. So I all, you, all you brought with you is what you were wearing. You're That's correct. Pets in tow, as city fire personnel said, they checked about 18 flooded homes in the Ellendale neighborhood, rescuing at least six people and six dogs by boat. Parts of I-70 also flooded. So I woke up and there was a couple feet in and it just kept coming up, going up. In the Pacific Northwest, excessive heat warnings moving in, with temperatures in some places possibly reaching 109 degrees. Seattle expecting a high of 92 today, its average 79. In California, emergency officials say the Oak Fire near Yosemite National Park is now 26% contained, consuming more than 18,000 acres since Friday. The thing though right now is how dry it is gives that potential for fires to grow very fast, very uh, be very big, very strong, and, and that potential is there for disaster. Firefighters say while the inferno's been explosive, there's been no loss of life from the state's largest wildfire. Mike Valerio, KITV4 Island News.